starting a quick vlog. I'm waiting for the train. My hair looks like absolute shit. But I'm luckily on my way to the Plaza Hotel to get some pin curls done. And that's why I'm wearing a hat is because... <laughs> it's because my hair looks so bad right now. my hat. I have this Chinese app that I use for all of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, it's probably surveilling me, but anyways, I'm on my way to the plaza. Honestly, I kind of want to take this hat off. It's pissing me off. Okay, I changed hats again. I'm a little late because the trains are completely screwed up, but it's worth it. I'm gonna get pin curls in my hair like Lana Del Rey. Speaking of Lana, I wanted to talk about the movie that I watched yesterday. I actually watched two movies yesterday. I watched Peyton's Recommendation, the movie Maps to the Stars, which is a Cronenberg film. And it's honestly bordering on his best. I really loved it. It's really brilliant. It has like stuff in it that's more akin to what people are trying to achieve these days. I am crossing the street. Is it seems like a lot of the directors these days, like with Mother and Bo is Afraid and like all these like Frico movies, they're all trying to go for something like this. But this is the one that achieves that Lynchian, creepy, nonsensical atmosphere. And what I actually felt the most in the film was the fact that it totally reflected my experience of living in Westwood for like six weeks when I was about 15 or 16 years old. And that movie totally, totally resembles that experience because I was a wannabe, really mentally deranged girl. And I, want, I was lying to people about my age and I was going to people's homes in like Mulholland Drive to parties and getting called out on the fact that I was definitely lying about my age because I was like a pimply faced weirdo who was also happened to be like kind of like pr pr promiscuous. I don't know. And I was interacting with the exact kind of women like the woman that Julianne Moore plays, which is by far her greatest role. Oh fuck, okay wait, who the fuck am I? Hold on. I'm trying to hurry, but it's hard to walk on my heels and it's like, the city's like kind of against me. Like all the crosswalks are being weird. I'm stressed out. I'm really excited to meet the stylist that Elspeth is gonna be training with today. She told me that the stylist is somebody that's like really New York, really Italian, Brooklyn, cool lady. I'm really looking forward to it. If she doesn't fucking murder me, being so late to this. Anyways, I'm walking past the Gorge Apple Store. I love the Apple Store. I'm nervous and I'm sweating. I hope that Elspeth doesn't get in trouble. If I get anybody in trouble, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, it's my turn. Finally, it's my turn to walk, bitch. Yeah, but I watched the remake of Sabrina. It was the one starring Harrison Ford. And like, am I supposed to know who this actress is? She looks identical. Audrey, Audrey Hepburn, but just like bigger tits and a bigger ass. <laughs> Her smile's more like this, like, like it's more like of a, a actual U shape. She's no Audrey Hepburn, but she's good. Harrison Ford is a perfect Humphrey Bogart though. And the guy who plays the dad from Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, where do I go? Jesus. I'm so confused. Where's the revolving door? Oh, it's right here. There's so much stuff I want to take videos of, but I can't. Okay. Oh my God.
officially finished. So happy with my hairstyle. I feel like it looks so good. I'm really proud of Elspeth. Really impressive stuff. I love it. My bangs look kind of really crappy. They cut them badly, but it's fine. Oh my God, look at this building. <gasps> It's cool. It, it looks kind of like the Grace Building. The Grace Building is one of my favorite buildings in New York. But I feel like that's a popular one. I feel like a lot of people like that one. But I'll add a picture of it so you can see. You look in for the secret. <laughs> that was funny. Why does he keep saying secret intelligence? Where is the secret subway entrance that's here? I feel so happy right now. I feel like a million dollars, dude. I, I have secret intelligence about the secret subway entrance that's here. This is a really nice day. Okay, this is the secret subway station. I'm so redhead. I think it might be the filter. Oh my god, my jacket is so gross. There's water on it. Let me check how, how to get to work. 